As Maya promotes leadership book, QBJT Barrett shows a lack of it is it an excessive amount of to ask for JT Barrett so as to call an audible plus a taxi. Ohio State's quarterback embarrassed himself and the team Saturday morning if your news broke he'd been disciplined for operating an automobile while impaired. And that can be all it truly is. Barrett is suspended with the Minnesota game in a few days. What's the worst that could happen to the Buckeyes? No harm, perhaps no blowout in the Gophers. The sky is not falling at Ohio State far away from it. We are reminded again that Urban Meyer provides the best quarterback depth in the United States. Not only will Cardale Jones likely start next against Minnesota, he was there to grab Barrett and take him home following your incident. Talk with regards to a team player. By in a few days, maybe this all will be forgotten. Jones slides directly in and Barrett will install the Uber app on his phone. But if this type of were any team, many of us could have slept in Saturday morning. On the same week Mayer was using a nationwide tour promoting his new book on leadership, his quarterback wrote a whole new chapter. On having less it. Yes, I know college kids drink. This is worse. Barrett made the conscious decision to operate a vehicle while intoxicated when he was stopped by police. This will be a lot worse because Barrett can be an upstanding Buckeye football citizen. Sounds trite, but yeah, he was obviously a role model. This is worse because Barrett, 20, was underage. He isn't first and won't become the last. Athletic director Gene Smith stated that because the violation would be a misdemeanor, there were no mandatory two-week suspension per school policy. Ohio State still suspended him one game. By your second week of January, the specific situation may become a forgotten speed bump on the way to another national championship.